First time in the dunes with the 24 Raptor R. Let's do this. All right, first time taking the 24 Raptor R to Silver Lake Sand Dunes. We're gonna have to see how this thing does. Some things I've noticed, the new square tow hooks up front, unfortunately my really nice custom flag mount won't work for this truck. So I'm gonna have to come up with something else. Maybe I can do something with that modular um, front bumper design and come up with some custom bracket. Flag mount on. We've got our ORV stickers on the back, recreational passports. Now we got to lower air pressure down to around 10, 15 pounds of pressure. I'm not super hip on this front mount, but it's going to have to do kind of protected the front just in case it rubs on the front. But yeah, this is a good time if you're interested in seeing what one of these Raptors can do. We're going to try to lower the air pressure down to about 12 to 15 PSI. This will be the first time I've ever taken a supercharged truck on the dunes before. Had a lot of other trucks with less power, so hopefully 12 to 15 pounds of pressure is low enough, but we might have to go a little lower. Kind of cool to see some other Raptors out here. All right, we got our tire pressure down to about 13 PSI in the front and rear. We're gonna see how terrible a fuel economy you can get on the dunes. Let's put it in Baja mode. There we go, screen's probably gonna kick on. There we go. Let's see what happens. And I'm gonna actually turn off the advanced track as well. Curious to see if this is the same as 21 to 23. There we go. We'll start in four high and see how it feels. Wonder if you can do performance view in Baja mode too. We're about to find out. Thank you. Thank yep. You. Here we go. So DNR kind of whooped out entry. We're gonna see how this new dual valve technology compares to the single valve solenoid from 21 to 23. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna change the suspension settings from, let's go normal, go to sport, and let's see off-road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with normal mode and see how normal mode kind of compares. Got a dirt bike next to us. A little rougher the entry I feel like than last year definitely it's funny these dunes change every year the way the wind blows them around it's never the same and I think they've already had some machinery in here trying to clean some of this up and there it is beautiful Silver Lake test hill on the left just kind of do a little walk around here and Get a feel for things. Yep, lots of side-by-sides. There's a Gen 1 Raptor pretty far up there. Do you see it? So right now we're in second gear, 20 miles an hour, about 2200 RPMs. Got it in four high. It's not making any boost in a supercharger. If you get on it, you can hear it. Yeah, buddy. Those dudes are racing you. Those dudes are racing us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the drag racing. There's the drag racing, isn't Should it? Can we do it? I think we could. Got a cool Gen 1 next to us. That's cool. That's a clean one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cool pre runner. Nice. Dad, ready? Let's do this. Yeah. Should we do a little racing, guys? Yes. All right, let's do it. Why the heck not, right? If you got a Raptor, you might as well use it, right? Oh Man, this is deep. Holy crap. You guys ready? First race. Can you do it again? Yeah, of course. Uh-oh. Got the DNR going up. Hopefully someone's okay. It's never good. We're gonna get tore up here, guys. Got a big, big setup there. It's got paddle tires or something on the back of that. Oh, got a Gen 1 next to us. Thank <laughs> you. 
there he is. <laughs> Can't get traction. Wanna go do a little whoops? Yeah. All right, here's a little dip. Let's see how it takes it. Boom, nothing. We'll go slow around this the first time just to get a feel for what these things look like and then blast it a little harder. Oh yeah, we can do this, no problem. I can even tell right now, this feels way more composed than the 21. No comparison. This thing feels way better. Cause normally my other truck was like really, it'd really be bouncing hard, wouldn't it? Man, that feels awesome. What's the point of having a Raptor if you can't do this, right? <laughs> well, the intake charge air temp, I'm sitting at about 96 Fahrenheit. Not bad, 96 temp. Can tell you go through a lot of fuel when you're out here for sure. So we're getting three miles per gallon in the dunes right now. Here's our gauges. Kind of see 67 PSI, trans temp 206. That's nothing. Let's follow that pre-runner. Yeah, oh, wow. He's got tracks on it. That is cool. Let's check that out. That is awesome. Are you done? Are you done? No. Let's go up this way instead. Man, it's got so much more power than my 21. I'm not even into the gas. Jeez, well, Pete's, man. Gosh. Man, front end feels so much more composed. We don't get that like bucking sensation that a 21 had. This is where the paddle shifters are knife. Put it in manual mode and just kind of keep it right in the right RPM. This is what's nice. You can see coming over the hill. So I'm gonna keep it in off-road mode for the suspension because I think the valving is a little bit stiffer. So it just gives me a little bit more, maybe a little bit worse ride but it probably also gives me a little more safety factor of going through a big bump and bottoming out the suspension. See a really nice, uh, that looks like carbonized gray Gen 2 Raptor. Some guys from Illinois. We what? almost jumped it. Got the family out, and I'm gonna do a little more serious pushing off-roading now. So let's see what these trucks can do. So far, what I can tell you is coming from a 21 Raptor Gen 3 to a 24, I can tell you that I think the suspension feels a little more composed. I get less of like a uh, free-floating valve sensation. Here's a Gen 2, we'll follow this dude. He's, he's kicking this thing pretty good. <laughs> so what's cool about when you're going off-road it's really not you need more power it's typically the driver mod more than anything i mean 450 horse will do everything you want to do for 99 percent of the off-roading and you can see a uh, gen 2 stock no problem with power had a lot of fun out there with those trucks there's a gen 1 behind us so it's kind of neat I need to get a little more acclimated with this truck before I start pushing it too hard. Here we go. Let this Gen 1 go around us. Oh, dude's about to get that thing sideways. Look at the bed shake on that thing. That's wild. That's one of the things I've had a Gen 1, same color as that. It's wild to watch the amount of frame flex in those trucks versus the Gen 2, Gen 3s and what do you call them, Gen 4s or whatever. It's it's just wild. They they really stiffen those trucks up in 2017 when they came out with the Gen, Gen 2 truck. This is proof out here in the dunes. 400 horsepower is more than enough to have a great time. So if you're on the fence, do I need a Raptor R? I think it's more fun in the street having the Raptor R versus a standard Raptor, but out here, off-road, Nah, you're, you're fine. So I've taken all of my Raptors to the dunes. I've never broken anything on a Raptor up here. I've gotten close. I've popped a few fender flares loose, but I also don't get stupid. I don't jump them too crazy. 
Uh, I don't I steer them away from the water. You know, I got to get home. Uh, so I'm not going to make it where the vehicle's inoperable. But a Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, V6, V8, they're all awesome up here. I would definitely recommend if, uh, if you're going to come to the dunes, definitely run uh, premium fuel. Don't take a chance on running regular octane fuel if you're going to push it up here. I could say first impressions of the Raptor R is awesome. The power just, it's so at ease. You know, it's just that much easier than the EcoBoost uh, in any gear. It just seems to find a home pretty easily. But I would say I'm most impressed by the suspension. There's a big difference in the suspension on this thing versus my 21. I, I just, I love my 21. That truck's super capable off-road. Jumping from Gen 2 to Gen 3 off-road suspension capability and on-road is a huge improvement. Huge, huge. And then jumping from the Gen 3 to this, I feel like is another massive jump. This thing is just incredibly capable uh, stock suspension. All right, let's push it a little. Here we go. Doing 60, 70 through these whoops. That I've been through this section lots of times with my Gen 3 21, and it's never had an issue. And I don't really expect any problem going through this with this as well. All right, here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Just a cakewalk. <laughs> It'd be fun to get a 2437 package Raptor out here and compare it to the Raptor R. Not so much for the power, because obviously there's gonna be a difference in power. I just wonder if you can feel that 100 pounds less of an engine up front, if it makes much difference in the handling off-road. I wonder if the, if the non-Raptor R handles a little bit better off-road than the, uh, the Raptor R. All right, so I'm gonna throw this thing in two-wheel drive now. Get the uh, rear end a little looser and see how it feels. Oh yeah, sounds good. It's a, still amazing to me how quickly this engine revs. Just an animal. It's a pretty cool looking Gen 2. Tons of power on, on demand. You, you need a tire with more traction. I mean, power is not the problem. You really need, you're really out of traction. spinning through the gears there i'm not a fan of baja mode in drag racing at the dunes i didn't like it on my gen 2 or my gen 3 raptor it just didn't seem to be the fastest it seems like they get hung up on shifting i'm gonna throw it in sport mode now It's fast. I mean, it's, I think I'm running, I think the problem is I'm so low on fuel. I think it's like cutting fuel because I've got like 18 miles till empty and it's it's killing my shift, which kind of sucks. There was a big fleet of Raptors that drove by there. Yeah, like Raptor junkies, they stopped and talked to me. They're a pretty nice group of people. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're from like Indiana, Michigan, oh, Illinois. Oh, it's like yeah. a big group of them. We were just doing a bunch of drag racing and I was just checking all my temperatures. Looks like coolant temp 26, 210, that's the charge air temp 110. <laughs> Three miles per gallon, that's what you get in the dunes for 11 miles, that's hilarious. There we go. So there's all of our measurements right now. 228 oil, trans temp 212, air temp. I'm gonna let this thing sit now and cool off. Never, it's never a bad idea when you're pushing them like that just to let them cool down. Sometimes when I push it a little bit, I'll let the truck idle with the hood open just to kind of check things out. Looking at all my coolant levels, everything looks good. I didn't notice any temperatures that looked crazy and out of place and I'm not pushing it too crazy hard. 
like I have with my other Raptors, you know, I still kind of want to break it in somewhat gently, but I'm definitely having fun with it today. But everything looks good. I don't see any issues. One thing that bums me out is my flag mount that I've got for my Gen 3 it doesn't work on that because the new square hook. So I got to come up with something. I was just looking underneath. Didn't get into the skid plates anywhere. So that's good. Everything's looking good. I don't see any red flags in the in the suspension or so far what I can tell you is this new dual solenoid suspension is incredible. I think this is a big upgrade versus my 21. Very impressed so far. Another Silver Lake trip completed. Raptor R did good. I don't think I broke anything. We didn't push it too hard. Still in break in, so kind of want to take it easy. Definitely next time going to come in with more fuel. That was dumb on my part. All right, first trip on the 24 Raptor R in the dunes. What's my thoughts so far? I would say if you've never had another Raptor before and you started with a new dual valve solenoid, you'd be pretty happy. It's incredible through the generations what they've done with this new technology and continue to just make them better and better off and on road. This is incredible. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what else they did, but these things work incredible. Very happy with it. Gonna air the tires up now and do our trip home. I'm gonna check and see. I'm gonna try to hit about 42 to 44 PSI. 43.5, perfect. So do the rears now. Cause I just noticed this cool little icon. It's letting me know my tailgate's down. I'm gonna hit the button and see if it'll go up. I think it's going up, but I don't quite know. Oh, I think it is. Yep, and that that disappeared. That's cool. What kind of fuel economy do you get in the dunes? I got 3.6 miles per gallon for about 16 miles of dune driving. How awesome is that view? We're pretty fortunate to have such a cool place to uh, to travel and see in Michigan. First trip on the dunes. Here's what I tell you guys. I have had six Raptors now. I don't push them crazy. I mean, I'll get a little bit of air maybe here and there, not today. Breaking this thing in, I don't wanna to get too crazy. I want this truck to last. And I just kinda of wanted to go through, see what the power felt like. It's got a ton of power, no surprise there. I think the biggest surprise to me though is the suspension. There's a huge improvement on this suspension in the dunes versus my 21 Raptor. Truck sounds good. I didn't make any contact with the front glide pit plate. That's good. I noticed I've got good clearance in all my wheel wells. A little bit of sand up underneath the fenders. That's pretty standard. I didn't see any contact. Sometimes if you push them hard, you get a little bit of contact there, but I wasn't really pushing it too hard today. Didn't bottom the suspension. We weren't really pushing it. Post drive inspection, just kind of look at everything. Make sure I don't see anything leaking or anything weird underneath. Everything looks good. I see the rear axle looks good. Suspension looks good. Anything wet underneath there. I don't see any issues. That's good. Not that I expect that, but still a new vehicle. Kind of see some of the sand kicked up. Let's crawl underneath here. Man, they got some seriously beefy skid plate right underneath the uh, transmission area. That's not new. It's been on there for multiple generations, but still nice to see. License plate lights are in fact LED on the 24 Raptor. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be doing more videos of the 2024 Ford F-150 Raptor R in the dunes. This is the first trip. Didn't wanna push it too hard, kinda of wanna break it in, get familiar with the suspension, the power. Plus this is the first trip to the dunes this year and sometimes things have changed since last year. So anyhow, thanks for watching.